What's that in the sky? Why, well, I think that might be a floating masterpiece. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sonic Adventure. We're going to finish up Knuckles' story this time around. And uh, fortunately, Chaos 4 is out of the way, so that's good. Because I hate that fight. But I think I've gone over that, like, three times now. And, uh, actually, don't have to fight him with anybody else. Flying Fortress? Oh, I prefer Floating Masterpiece. Oh well. I mean, there's so many times when we easily could have stopped him. My workshop's cooked, so let's get the tornado and go after him. Good idea. Hey, Sonic. You go on ahead without me. I have some things I need to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Let's move. Hey, now we actually understand where he's going. Also, shouldn't they have gone that way and Knuckles gone the opposite way instead of Knuckles running towards the workshop? Anyways, whatever. Moving on. Alright, so... One thing that's cool. We can actually climb up along the edge here. And I think I'm going to go back up on top of this, just because I can. And I like doing it. Alright, so there is an emblem to grab, and also an upgrade over here. I guess you can also get this one as Tails, but I just didn't do it. You got ugly yellow gloves. Now you've got fighting gloves. To store up power, hold down the action button. Now you They should have probably been red, but attack. with him being red, it makes sense. And blue would have just been wrong. So this attack works similar to the light speed attack. However, if you walk off a ledge, it'll deactivate. Like so. So it's not quite as uh, useful. However, it is useful on one of the bosses and in a couple other situations, which we'll see. Alright, uh... Oh, hang on, isn't this the part where you have to do the statues? And I just totally missed the statue right at the beginning. Yep. Two stone statues. The door to the past. Alright, well... Statue number two is going to be over here. Uh, through here, I think. Mm -hmm. The door is locked. A stone statue may help. Statues. Alright. There's the first one. Now, what you were supposed to do is notice the other statue at the start and grab it. But, nah. That would be, you know, efficient and logical, so... Whatever. Yeah, the good news is, as Knuckles, you don't have to take that stupid ladder. Yep, there it is. Two stone statues. All right. So unfortunately, Knuckles' version of Lost World is not that great. I think it could have been better. 
They could have done like the water snake room, that would have been kind of cool, but they did not. Instead, you just get this. Which is not terrible, but yeah. Alright, well there's one right around the start somewhere. Where'd he go? You can use those, like, gravity pads, but obviously you don't have to, because we can just do this. Oh, I think I'm going to have to dig. Mm -hmm. All right, where? There we go. So the last one is probably up top somewhere. You notice you can climb everywhere except when you can't, which is kind of, it's kind of weird what areas you cannot climb on. Like, why did that have to be so complicated? I don't know. Oh, wait. I think I see it. So yeah, that one is kind of underwhelming, unfortunately. Red Mountain is by far his uh, best enough. level. Not you again. You're gonna get dizzy there if you keep uh, spinning like that. Where am I? This is very strange. You know, as I was going through this. I'm thinking back to the old Archie comics, which uh, Knuckles got his own spinoff, and I always really liked Knuckles' spinoff. I thought it was really interesting the way they developed uh, the characters and everything, even though they were completely original characters that had nothing to do with the actual Sonic lore. There's a weird story about that, too, that uh, when the guy that wrote it ended up going off and doing his own thing, it was really weird. But I liked him anyway. So what we're supposed to gather here is that Chaos is linked to the Master Room world in some way. So, are you saying you can't leave this place? I understand. Let me talk to my father again. I mean, not like this game is going to win any awards or anything in the story department, but it was kind of cool the way that you kind of piece together this past um, as you play all the different characters. Don't worry, my friends. I won't let you down. Uh, spoiler alert, she kind of will let them down, but... I must do something... Oh, hi. I didn't notice you there. What? I'm back in front of the altar. Because you were already in front of the altar this just in the past, huh? My mind. Wait a minute. I remember. The broken pieces of the Master Emerald. I have to restore them to where they belong. Knuckles does well. What is it? Oh. It's still incomplete. 
I need to find the remaining pieces wherever they are. Hey. Look. It's Eggman's flying fortress. That's where the rest of the pieces must be. It would have made my day if he said it's Eggman's floating masterpiece. So much opportunity there, guys. Come on. I don't know where that ship is. Hey, isn't that one of Eggman's robots? I know. I'll follow it back to Eggman's base. That's a good plan. Here I come, Eggman. I always really liked Gamma's theme. It's pretty cool. He apparently made really good progress and got super far ahead of us, though. I know you're trying to tail him, but you could have done a little bit better than that, Knuckles. No trains are currently in service. Yeah, that doesn't help me. Yeah, that does. Hmm, I wonder if that's where he went. Might be worth checking out at least. It's so weird how the layers work there where you actually see it in front of all this stuff because they fade in and it doesn't. Very strange. Hmm, just what I thought. Time to make a house call. These pre-rendered sections actually still look pretty good, even today. Not bad. See who's so easily tricked. I can sense that the emeralds are here somewhere. Spoiler alert, it's Knuckles. Who's so easily tricked. Alright, we can come in here. And there should be an emblem up here. And a bunch of rings. I wouldn't say no to a bunch of rings. And we got this door that we need to get through. If you recall from the other stories, the pool actually drains when the thing transforms. What's going on? Ah, this thing's always changing. Is it? I'm pretty sure that's the first time Knuckles ever saw it change, but whatever. Alright. In we go. I sense the Master Emerald. It can't be far from here. This is our last action stage. There's kind of a neat gimmick here. I mean, it's kind of annoying, but it's kind of neat. You can actually control the tilt. So if you want these doors to open, you have to tilt it this way. And then there's some others where you have to tilt it left or right. Oh, there. 
That's one right there. And there's another one right near here also. This would have been a great uh, time trial. Oh, it's probably the enemy next door. So I'll just use my uh, charge attack here. Now what I like to believe is that when Sonic was going through this level and it kept tilting on him to try and like throw him off the edge, he was actually Knuckles standing at the top, messing around with the control switch. It makes sense to me. Alright, number three. Good enough. Sound effects are so loud. Last missing piece. All right. Now to restore the master emerald. Huh? Not again. Oh, oh no, not again. What is the meaning of this? So yeah, I remember when Tikal said she wasn't going to let them down. Uh, yeah. Hey, what happened here? I couldn't stop them. They came, and, and my father... I had no idea how bad this would turn out. I'm shocked. Look, it's the emerald. Wait. Yeah, you didn't notice it last time you were here? Whatever. Is this a dream? Or maybe an it's illusion. More like a nightmare. I was trying to quote Escaflaune there. That was just a really odd reference to try and insert into my Sonic Adventure playthrough. But anyways, finally found all of the missing emerald pieces, but still can't figure out that creepy monster. Huh? What's that? What? <laughs> that sound. Let's see that again. You're welcome. Alright, so I think you can assume what boss fight is coming up. Return to Angel Island and the Master Emerald. No, it can't be. Oh, he just happened to sneak up on us somehow. I guess he didn't get enough the first time. You can't stop me from restoring the Master Emerald. So we get a little help on this fight from uh, our special attack. It'll actually do two times the damage of a normal hit. So check it out. That's not bad, huh? Boom. Is that all you've got? Yeah, you're 
we're finished. What's left now is to return the Master Emerald safely to my island. You know, honestly, I think you should probably take the Chaos Emeralds with you. You're just going to leave them on the Egg Carrier. That seems like a bad idea, but... Okay. I like that that explosion is actually a guitar. Pretty cool. I guess. So we're just about wrapping up here. That was Knuckles' story. It's gonna restore the Master Emerald. Get a little cutscene and monologue. I do have a wonderful treat for you coming up here in a few seconds. I uh, replaced the very beginning of Knuckles' theme with uh, the Triple Q version, which you can find on YouTube. Uh, Knuckles the Echidna in Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. Uh, which the full version of the song is called Knuckles from Knuckles and Knuckles. Knuckles in Knuckles. The Echidna. This should do it. Featuring Knuckles from the Knuckles the Echidna series. Knuckles of the Year edition. Full version and Knuckles. You can check out the full version of that song on YouTube. It is not G-rated, but... Uh, You'll get just a little taste of it here. It is, in fact, the superior version of the theme. So you see what I mean? That was the entire island right there. You can see the ice cap zone and everything. The little island with the emerald on it is floating in the middle. But it's, it's just kind of... Yeah, that's weird when you first see it. There we go. Knuckles will finish us up with a little monologue. And uh, we should be good to go. Next time we will be doing Amy's story. I'll probably be on this floating island. And as I mentioned, once all these are uploaded, I'll be doing a long play version of each. So all the way through, no commentary. The master if that's your thing. Again. I may not know the whole story behind this. But that's only because I haven't played the other three but characters yet. It's better that way. Oh. I'm at peace once more. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Enjoy this little remix here. It's pretty great. Here I come, rougher than knuckles. The best of them, tougher than knuckles. You can call me knuckles, unlike knuckles, I'm chuckle. I'd rather flex my knuckles, I'm hard as knuckles It ain't hard to chuckle, I break them down whether they knuckles it knuckles, unlike knuckles, I'm independent since my first chuckle First knuckles, feel the knuckles, then the knuckle chuckle Wasn't that honestly the best? I think it was Alright, I'll see y'all next time
Corona. I was born by myself. I don't need a posse. I get it all by myself. 